Hello, I'm joined today by ISP member Dr. Emma Stokes, who has just been elected as President of the World Confederation for Physical Therapy at its general meeting in Singapore. Emma, this is a great honour for you and for the profession in Ireland. How does it feel to be World President? Great. It feels great, Rory. Thank you. It's a huge honour and privilege to have been elected to the role of President of WCPT and I'm really looking forward to serving in that role in the next four years. What does this mean for you and the profession in Ireland? For the profession in Ireland, I think it's, it's a real celebration of the work that many, many physiotherapists have done over, over the years since the founding of the society in the early 1980s and indeed before that. Um, it, it celebrates the work that people like Paul Wagstaff and Maurice Cooney did in their roles in, the, in SLCP and in the European region of WCPT. But it acknowledges the key role that the chairs of the International Affairs Committee and the representatives of the ISCP have played over the years. Ireland has a very big presence in both the European region of WCPT and at WCPT. So to me, this is not just about me being elected president, but actually it's building on the great work that other people have done over three decades in representing Irish physiotherapy internationally. So from that profession, I, I, from that reason, I think that's a, a great celebration of Irish physiotherapy. For me personally, as I said to you, it's an enormous honour to have been elected into this position. Um, I'm really excited about the next four years. I'm looking forward to the challenges that it's going to bring and the opportunities that it's going to bring. I really enjoy working internationally in physiotherapy and I have done so since the late 1980s for 16 years now at this stage and so I'm excited. It's, uh, it's going to be a very interesting professional journey for the next four years. Okay, and what are your priorities for this four year term? Well the president is only one of a board, uh, the president chairs the board of WCPT and works very closely with a fantastic secretariat uh, made up of wonderful staff based in London. So while I have priorities and ideas, of course they have to be worked through the board and, and the board committees. But in terms of the, of the, there's probably three things that I'm really interested in, in, in looking at uh, very broadly. Um, WCPT has been represented by 12 presidents up to this point and the organization has worked very hard to become a very influential global organization. We're part of a very exciting alliance of other um, health professions. So the World Health Professions Alliance is uh, an alliance uh, including the World Medical Association and the International Council of Nurses. And working with those organizations, um, which also includes the dentists and the pharmacists, I think we have an opportunity to influence policy um, in terms of how health is delivered, issues around collaborative working, and to me that's a big priority. It's about making sure that where decisions are being made about the direction of healthcare or healthcare policy and how that might impact on people's lives, that physiotherapy is recognised for its very valuable contribution in terms of restoring functional independence and quality of life but also increasingly importantly in the role of prevention of chronic diseases. So I would really like to see us grow and continue to build on the great work around advocacy and influence. The other area that I'm very interested in is in the next generation of leaders. WCPT has just launched a network of student and early career physiotherapists called WCPT Future. It's called WCPT Future because, as I said at the very first meeting of the network, they are the future. It's the students and the early career physiotherapists who will be sitting in chairs like this in probably less than 25 years time. And I really believe that we are in very safe hands. There are a generation of students and early career physiotherapists who are connected to one another in ways that we never were, and that's through social media. And using social media to really, really leverage those connections if you like, in a virtual space in the beginning, allows those connections to grow and those collaborations to grow in real time when people meet one another. So for me, one of the key areas that I'd like to look at is also about how do we develop the next generation of leaders? How do we make sure that physiotherapists are participating in their home professional organizations and 
take, getting involved in leadership roles there, but also how do we make sure that we have a very focused group of people who are future looking and who can start to really shape how the profession is going to change and develop. So growing the next generation of leaders is something that I'm very excited about. I work with students all the time in my job in Trinity College in Dublin and I love their enthusiasm and their excitement and their innovation and their entrepreneurship so I'm very excited about that. You mentioned that that you have three priorities, what would your third one be? So the third one is another really exciting uh, area I think of development. Professional organisations like the Irish Society of Chartered Physiotherapists, we're a relatively small organisation. I mean we really do great things, but we do have limited resources, just by virtue of the numbers, if you like, sure. physiotherapists in Ireland. And when I look around the world, I see the great work that has been done by, for example, I'm going to give the example of the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy and their Physio Works program, which is all about equipping physiotherapists to advocate for how important physiotherapy is and the value of physiotherapy. So this is not just about clinical outcomes, but it's also about how does physiotherapy actually save money and how does it really have a cost effectiveness as well? And I know that the Canadian Physiotherapy Association have done a lot of work in that area as well about the value that physiotherapy has uh, for Canadians. What I'd really like to do is work with those organizations to see how we can perhaps use that data globally. So in other words, how do we share that information because it doesn't necessarily need to be replicated all over again in every country in the world. I'm sure there are ways that we can look at that creatively that allow other countries to make an economic argument for physiotherapy without having to go back to first principles. So that's one area where I think drawing together the wealth of information that we have about physiotherapy internationally and could be done very nicely in the role of WCPT as an observatory or a repository. The other key area that that could be looked at as well is the whole health human resources, the supply and demand for physiotherapists, because you know clearly physiotherapists have moved around the world even since I graduated. It was a big part of why people maybe studied physiotherapy was that they could travel. And of course, we're an increasingly connected world. So understanding how supply and demand trends can influence or um, change um, planning for physiotherapy, even for education or the developments even as, as professionals develop in their careers. So again, taking a much higher level look at that information, I think WCPT has a really valuable role to play there and I'd really like to explore that as a possibility in my time as president. Okay, so you can really see this work at broader level transferring locally, regionally, and even in small countries like Ireland. Absolutely. I think Ireland has, and, and many countries like us, have, have a very clear, um, they can see a very clear benefit to being part of the, the global physiotherapy community. It's about creating networks, it's about drawing down resources that are available, it's also about learning what other um, physiotherapy organisations have done. So, for instance, one of the things that I think we'll be doing in Ireland over the coming years is, uh, is advocating for change in legislation to do with um, prescription, prescription of medicines and prescription of ionising radiation, so in other words being able to order images. And what I think is really interesting is if, if WCPT starts to gather information and hold that information, we can then draw on the lessons learned from, well our closest neighbours of course we would be able to draw on very easily because of our very close relationship with the Chartered Society of Physiotherapy, but theirs was a 10 year journey to get legislation changed. Our colleagues in Australia are, have started on that journey and are very well into that journey. And again, I think it's about the lessons that we learn. Of course jurisdictions are different, but I'm sure there'd be advice that we could get that would say, maybe don't do this, we wasted a lot of time doing this, and actually we would have been better focusing our attention on this group of stakeholders. So I think we've, we benefit hugely from our participation in the global community. And certainly when you get to do as I have done, which has been a huge privilege to travel around the world, you start to be able to join up those dots and say, well, actually, I seem to remember that the Ontario Physiotherapy Association and the College of Physiotherapists in Ontario went through a big advocacy campaign to change their legislation. What can we learn from them? So 
So, but maybe being more explicit about how those things have happened and that WCPT can hold that as a repository and then we can draw on it. We certainly do it already with our common data set, but it's about maybe creating key projects around things that are influential in the profession at the moment. So yeah, I see huge benefits for, for our participation, really in the way that they have been over many years. Okay, thank you. And finally, does your election as president of the World Confederation for Physical Therapy send a signal to our Minister for Health as he prepares to take this key decision around the protection of the title of physical therapist in Ireland? That's a really interesting question and it's a tricky one because, you know, as you know, um, the, neither the title of physiotherapist or physical therapist is yet protected, but the Act is uh, states that the title of physiotherapy will be protected and the Physiotherapist Registration Board uh, have, a, have, have been in communication with the Minister and it is now with the Minister to make a decision about how those titles will be protected. What we mustn't lose sight of is that the most important people in this decision are the people who use physiotherapy or physical therapy services. So regulation is about the protection of the public. And I am on record as saying that I believe that the public are best protected by both physiotherapy and physical therapy titles being protected under one register. And that would be the position of WCPT. From a personal perspective, it would be a challenge for me to be the president of the World Confederation for Physical Therapy and not have physical therapy as a title protected with physiotherapy in our national legislation. But really, it's not about my personal opinion. It's about how we protect the public. And I, we have an excellent Minister for Health. Um, he's, he's a smart man. And, um, you know, as a physician himself, he knows how important it is that the public are protected. So I have no doubt he will make the right decision in this regard. And I look forward to it. Thank you, Emma. And good luck in your role as World President over the next four years. We wish you all the best from all the members of the ISCP. Thanks, Rory. And I just really want to take a moment to say thank you to, to the ISCP as an organisation but also to you and to the members of the current board, but really the people in the ISCP over the years, and I've been involved with the ISCP as a volunteer since 1991, there have been so many people who have mentored me, advised me, taught me, and been generous with their time and their support and their encouragement, and I really, really want to acknowledge that. You don't get to the position that I am in as um, I've just been elected as the president of WCPT without an enormous amount of support and generous support. So I really want to acknowledge that. Um, it's something that I really appreciate and it's something that I won't forget.